Good morning, this is Kinnigan from RagingReptilian.com. We're going to take a look at a video that is close to 90 years old. This was originally published in 1932. I'm also going to give you a little history about cartoons. Cartoons got their name, obviously, because these were marketed for adults, um, not children. They were made to be played before movies in drive-in movie theaters, which is where they got the name Cartoon. The Masons were behind a lot of this uh, development of television and bringing it over to TV. If anyone remembers old TV shows like uh, The Flintstones, Fred and Barney were members of the Lodge. They also talked to a little green alien called Cosmo, who um, typically you can call an alien gray. Now, many people are familiar with Betty Boop, but she was actually a side character in this cartoon I'm going to show you here, which is Bimbo's Initiation. Now, um, what is so interesting about this little TV show is it is mocking the initiation into the Masons of all people. Oh, and there's a little twist at the ed ending here with Betty Boop. So, the link will be in the description. If you want to watch this without my commentary, I'll, I'll be pausing throughout the video to point out some of the obvious occult symbolism. For example, just on the uh, beginning here, that a paramount picture. This is symbolic of a magic circle. You got pentagrams in here, and that is symbolic of Mount Hermon, where the fallen angels fell. Now, I'm going to be doing another lecture today that's only going to be on my Patreon about the, the Nazis and the Thule Society. What's interesting about the Thule Society and the double lightning bolts that the SS officers wore are also symbolic of the fallen angels. Yeah, so there's a little... I'll do that lecture. That will be only on my Patreon um, later on today because obviously we're not allowed to talk about the... Um, but I'm, I'm going to try to let you understand some of the mockery that actually goes on in these secret societies, um, even with fraternities. Fraternities, um, they always have these weird, you know, rituals when you join a fraternity that you got to do this crazy stuff. And um, even take, for example, the Hell's Angels, who are a biker gang. They have a ritual when you get patched in as a full member, you have to walk around with human feces and urine on your patch all weekend. Now, what's interesting about that, this is the ritual of the Shriners here. Uh, the Shriners is a side order that you can join when you become a Mason, and some of the rituals they have in here for their initiation is the eating of human dung, dressing up as a woman, the bunghole test, um, this is where I get a lot of the insight, um, Freemasonry and fraternal organizations, there is a lot of them, and these are some of the side orders that when you either become a third degree or a master mason, you can join. A lot of people that are into the, the Bacchus parties and pedophilia become Shriners, whereas there's other orders that you can join, um, they're all here, including your wife can eventually join the, um, the Eastern Star and become a witch, and there's a few other ones, the Daughters of, um, I think it's the Daughters of Isis or whatever. But anyway, we're going to watch this uh, little cartoon here, and you're going to, I'm going to be pausing throughout, throughout it and pointing out some stuff. I'm gonna, I don't want the volume to be too loud on this, so let me turn this down a little bit. Now I'm going to put out, I'm going to point out very something very disturbing with Betty e Boop herself. We are tough, you bet. Filled with college prep. Bring him on, we cry. D I D I D I B I M B O. Bimbo. <laughs> First symbolism. There's, yeah, that kind of looks like Mickey Mouse, doesn't it? <laughs> um, the lock here. That is uh, the key. Um, that's what they're talking about, giving you the key into the Masons. Um, that's why they had this lock here. And you notice he's going below the surface. He passes over three potholes and doesn't fall down until he makes it into that one. <laughs> Now, I want you to notice something. You, you see the candles on their head? 
When you become initiated into the Masons, they blindfold you. And when they remove the blindfold, the first thing you see is a burning candle. They use candles in the occult for the invocation of demonic and archonic entities. That's why the candle is so important. That's why all these gentlemen have candles on their head. Want to be a member? Want to be a member? So yeah, they're trying to recruit them into the Masons. Yeah. There's the way out. Oh. <laughs> notice they're mocking him. Everything is an illusion in here. Uh, really important, because it's not exactly what you think. <laughs> Because you're as above, so below symbolism, with the house going upside down, obviously. You see, this was not made for children, obviously. This was a cartoon made for the Masons, by the Masons, so they can mock it right in front of people. Want to be a member? Want to be a member? No. Now, you see that, that's symbolic of skull and bones. Another thing I want to point out, you notice this video is exactly 6 minutes and 30 seconds long. There goes your 666 symbolism right there, three sixes. That's another thing that um, is pretty obvious, you know. And then you have the skull and bones reference back there. Um, Oh, 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 Now, I, I think that this plunger that this guy is holding is supposed to be symbolic of a scepter. Um, that's the closest thing I can think of when I think it... That's what I think it's supposed to be symbolic of, is some type of scepter or something like that. Be a member? Wanna be a member? No! Oh, it gets better. <laughs> okay. Skull and Bones, 13 question mark and yeah he's got the choice to go through different doors here hello may i've got a bone to pick now they do bring skeletons out on a stage for certain masonic rituals so there is kind of some truth to this it's even theorized that Albert Pike himself has been, um, he's still brought out for 33 degree initiation rituals. Yeah, they wheel his corpse around on a stage and they, they do these one act plays and the rites and they, they act it out on stage. And there's um, very big symbolism of, yeah, of a skeleton coming on stage there when you uh, join their order. They're all about it. Um, pretty creepy stuff. It's amazing how much satanic symbolism they could fit into this little short six minute cartoon, isn't it? You? And you notice that's, yeah, 333 is right when that's, mm -mm. 330 is when that skeleton came on. There's some truth to this also. Yeah, they're, um, like I said, some of the rituals that I had pulled up for the Shriners. They do some of these weird things. Mm -hmm. 
Come inside, big boy. What a pippin! We'll talk about Betty Boop in a second. You ever notice the strange shape of her head? And it kind of looks like male testicles. That's not by chance. Um, there, there's some mockery going on here with transgenderism in the 30s of all things. I'll show you in a second. Something more disturbing right there. Did you see him pull his heart out? It's been theorized in some of these secret societies. They do partake in some disgusting things, such as the eating of human hearts. Now, that idea, on, on all things, if anyone's ever watched Game of Thrones, remember when Khaleesi had to eat a human heart? Um, some very disgusting truths to that, especially with the cannibalism and human sacrifice ac aspect. <sighs> Yeah, and it gets a little more disturbing. The reason why I pulled these Shriner rituals up, there is a ritual right here in the in the uh, Shriners. Um, it is one where uh, you have to prove that you are not a female imposter and pull out your penis and urinate in a glass. And they it, um, there's also another ritual here called Hide the Pocketbook. This is where we get a lot of the cross-dressing. Drag is something that comes out of these secret societies dressed to resemble a girl. That's why I said Betty Boop is not what you think she was. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, and then, then he joins the order, and it was a big joke, and they were all Betty Boops. Um, yeah, very, if you know what you're looking for in this, this was obviously made by the Masons for the Masons. This was not for kids. Um, I'm sure there is, you know, if I go through a few other cartoons from around this era, especially with Betty Boop, I'll find other symbolism in there. Um, there's a lot of it. Um, and originally, these weren't made for children. These were made, like I said, as cartoons is where they get the name from because they were aired before drive-in movies as little short animated clips. Now, if you ever watch the old school Bugs Bunny, it's kind of the same thing. Th those were not really made for children. Th those Bugs Bunny, huh? The older Bugs Bunny, I'm talking about. Even like Tom and Jerry, um, so like a lot of the older stuff. And remember, of all things, remember the Flintstones and Fred and Barney were members of the Lodge, the Stone Lodge. So, pretty interesting stuff. And to think they were getting away with this oh, close to 100, well, it's almost 90 years old, the video. And um, it's just a big mockery of the Masons and joining their secret society. Like I said, uh, I can't believe how much stuff they were able to stuff into this little short six minute video. Anyway, I'll put this link in the description if you want to watch it. You might not look at Betty Boop the same way ever again. <laughs> or um, you might not have known about this character named Bimbo, and he was the precursor to Betty Boop. She was only supposed to be originally like I think a side character, and then she wound up becoming more popular than 
bimbo. And uh, yeah, you notice Mickey Mouse is in there as well. There's some things about Mickey Mouse. Maybe I'll make a video about Disney and Mickey in the future. There's definitely some. Uh, we know Disney isn't what <laughs> they say they are. Anyway, that will be all for this video. Link will be in the description. And if anyone has signed up recently or is interested, I will be doing a nice lengthy occult lecture on the Thul Society and the Black Sun worship of the Nazis. Um, another topic, it's not exactly what you think it is because I'm basically going to show you in the video where all those Nazi symbols come from, including the skull and bones and double lightning bolts. And their connections to all things up to the Masons and the Knights Templar. Um, <laughs> I already did a video on the Viril and Maria Orsic and showed you some of the connections there that they had with American bankers. And it's kind of like why we're not allowed to talk about this stuff. But obviously they can mock it in a Betty Boop, you know, TV show or cartoon. You get the idea. They're allowed to mock it. We're not. Anyway. That's going to be all for this video. Until we speak again, this is Kinnigan, and take care.